Hi, there's a YouTube channel that I like, Geo in the Philippines. What I like about Geo is that he's been a wandering expat, unattached and unencumbered by possessions. Well, in his last video, he and his new girlfriend were moving into a condo and they were purchasing a couch and a refrigerator. <laughs> I know what that story is like. I have two refrigerators. I arrived in the Philippines in 2014, the summer of 2014, with two big suitcases and a backpack. I had achieved what I thought I wanted. For the four years prior to coming to the Philippines, I had been living in Singapore, where I had been working, and trying to unload all of the stuff that I had back in the States. I had a house, a car, and all the accoutrements that went along with that type of lifestyle took me four years to unload it. So there I was, finally achieving what I thought I wanted. Over the last few days, I've been watching YouTube channels from the island of Negros, where I once was. I'm now in Thailand. I did settle down in Thailand. But Paul from the Old Dog New Tricks. Oh, why did I move here? Yeah. Well, that was basically an economic decision for me. Um, it was all about money. And, and Mark, somebody who had been on his channel, he interviewed me. Uh, Mark is, uh, every man has a story. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Every Man Has a Story. i got a special guest today, uh, Charlie Hub. And Charlie's been all over Asia, and currently he is living in Bangkok, Thailand. And uh, those two guys and a few others, along with Gio, I realize have gone through the same pattern that I did. We came to Asia for whatever reason. It was different for different, different people. I came on a work contract. But what happened was we arrived in the Philippines specifically uh, as a wandering minimalist. Okay, here I am. I don't know a lot of people, uh, but I'm ready to start a new style of living. And slowly, over time, we settled down into a, a, a more traditional, average kind of lifestyle with, uh, with, with homes and stuff, started accumulating stuff again. The minimalist wanderer thing kind of went out the window. And there's clearly a reason for that. When I got here to Thailand and became comfortable and knew that this is where I wanted to live, yeah, I started accumulating not only stuff, but people. I have this great big old household that I call my own here. There was a couch here that I gave away because it's time to replace it. <laughs> I've been gathering stuff so much in Asia that, you know, I, I'm on my second couch. I rented this, this, this big old place because I wanted something that could accommodate a yoga studio. Remember that old movie? Uh, it was a baseball movie with Kevin Cosner. It had a tagline that said, build it and they will come. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, was the yoga studio and it's now a combination photography studio, a bedroom and, you know, editing living space uh, and everything room. My photography equipment is still not stowed away the way I should do it. Bedroom, more mirrors, and Miss Buakow being Miss Buakow. Uh Yeah, it's a kind of a living space uh, where Bo and I live, me mostly, but in the nighttime, Buakow arrives. What do we have up here? Second floor. I keep wanting to get sculptures to put in this space more stuff right now this is the third floor this is the thai floor thai people live here here is uh miss kelly not dancing oh the acoustics are different in here very nice we have a uh, nong pat is a temporary resident I don't know i'm not even going to ask what happened there but uh, she moved back in here she's been here before and she's back uh, temporarily. Oh, that's Pinky. I thought that was Kelly. Hello, Pinky. Pinky is Nompe's daughter, and she has a pink guitar that nobody plays. And Kelly is pretending to be shy. Hello. 
<clears throat> across the hall here is another bedroom. I don't even know if they're up yet. This is Nanun, the studious one. <laughs> and this place swallows them up. Oh yeah, rainy season. You know, ties don't have uh, clothes dryers because it's tropical and the clothes dry in 10 minutes out in the sun. Problem is in the rainy season, you have to have a space indoors. That's what this space is. This is a Thai clothes dryer. It is warm here, but here we have a little suite of rooms here. And what do we have beyond this doorway? What else do we have? We have three errant teenagers here. Actually, Ying lives here. These are our, her two friends. Their parents got COVID, so they're sequestering with, uh, with us for 10 days. And I, you wouldn't even know that they were here. This one's just waking up. She's like, why are you pointing a camera at me? <laughs> okay, so I'll go away. So yeah, this is a nice little space. This used to be my room. I got evicted for the, when the yoga space became available for a bedroom. So yeah, uh, build it and they will come. They certainly did. This place had filled up. As I'm sitting here at my workspace trying to put together this video, I, I just took a look up at the images in front of me and realized that this is what to show about why it is that we old guys kind of find a new place to settle down here in Asia. It doesn't take a genius to figure out the motivation here. But what I find interesting is how quickly and easily, almost naturally, we become, you know, providers and protectors. It's just part of being a man. Uh, it's a little sad that that wasn't available to us in our home countries, but it's, you know, I guess the good news is is that it is available here. And I think it's made us all happier men. So, uh, so yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, I still wander a bit, but you can certainly see that the minimalist part has disappeared. <laughs> see you the next time. <laughs>